What's up, my fellow humans? Today we are playing Don't Open Your Eyes. Just gonna jump right into it. It's getting late. You're right, it is. I haven't slept. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. I leave aside the book I've been reading and look out the window. The process of falling asleep is a struggle against the noise. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive, intrusive thoughts. But not even the turning gears of my brain are producing much sound. Tonight, it's just oddly quiet. Quiet. Too quiet. I feel restless. My sight veers towards the hallway outside of my room. The distance between my, my room and the opposite wall is only 10 steps long. I know since I made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. Why? One, two, three. Absent-mindedly, but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest detail. But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness, like a throat of a gargantuan beast. Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just the hallway. But... I don't want to look at it. So I take a deep breath. And I close my eyes. In my room. Whoa. There's a bed in my room. There's a wardrobe in my room. There's pictures framed on the wall. My room is a part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. Were someone to blindfold me and ask me where to find my way around, I'd do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. What's that sound? Are those footsteps? No, it's impossible. It must be my imagination. But it's getting closer. And closer. And closer. And closer. They're gone. Right, there's no way someone could be there. Hi. Hello. Hey. Open your eyes. Um... I'm all right. I don't open my eyes. Open your eyes. Ooh, that that relief. Ooh. It's not Look fun. at me. I, I, I don't want. Why to. won't you? 
on to, man. Where are your manners? You look like you got your head turned. You're not looking at me. If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? It depends on what type of help, but you telling me to open my eyes. I don't want to open my eyes. I'm trying to sleep. Is that how it is? I can feel someone breathing over my ear. Oh, God. It's cold. I will share a secret with you. You know what? You could keep your secrets. I don't want them. I don't know. I don't want them. No. I have never seen myself before. Listen, man, if you want, I could buy you a mirror. I don't know if my face is ugly. I don't know the color of my skin. I mean, shit, you know... Equality, man. I don't know if I'm even here. Listen, you're talking, you're breathing, you're here. That is why I need you to open your eyes. I kind of don't want to open my eyes. So you can tell me how I look. You look beautiful. But I'm also shy. Exactly, so let me not let me not put you in an uncomfortable situation. I'll leave you to that. So I might hide the moment you do. Nah, let's not. You won't find me anywhere. And soon you will forget. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm gonna like forget. A faded dream. I know you're not asleep. Nah, I'm asleep. You hear that? that? That's me snoring. Listen, with those tiny ears of yours. How do you know my ears are small? They look so fragile. Alright, see, now I'm keeping the headphones on. Yeah, no, 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 you're not. Like talking. I could almost grab them. Alright, let's not do that, please. I feel something caress my ear. Okay, listen, we gotta talk about boundaries, man. Like, there's a fine line here. Put my fingers around them. Listen, at least take me out to dinner first. This is this is a little too much. And tear them off. Okay, I'm I'm not into that type of foreplay. All right, so uh, can we not do that? If I do, will you scream? I mean, if I shoot you with a gun, will you? Will I hear your voice? You're, you're, we're having a conversation right now. It was a joke. Ha ha ha. Ha. Not very funny. I'm joking. Yeah, I, I could, I can really tell with your voice and you not looking at me. Don't be scared. Yeah, we're, we're a little too late. Hey. Yeah? How do you think my eyes look? Like eyes. When our cases finally meet, what will you find? You staring back at me. Answer me. Oh, I have to. Um... They look, they look broken. Yeah. That may be so. I'm always straining my sight to stare at what's in front of me. Why? Why would you do searching that? for that one precious thing? It's what drives me to look inside places. Such as this. But sometimes I strain so hard. Little pieces seem to fall off my face. Whoa. One after another. I got glue. Making a cracking sound as they go. That's not pleasant. A sound like... help me look in the morning man when there's daylight and stuff like that you know maybe the wind takes them somewhere out of my reach 
Maybe. And that makes me sad. Listen, don't even worry about it. You're still here and that's what matters. So sad. I put my hands where my eyes should be. Uh, that's not, that's not healthy. And I borrow my fingers. See, see, this is not productive. And I take it out. Yeah, see, we're not getting nowhere now. I take everything out. How about we don't? Every little piece that remains. Harder. Furiously. And wallowing in sorrow. I pray to whoever's listening to give back what's mine. To not make me lose more than I've already lost. I mean, if you keep digging in your eyes like that, I'm pretty sure you're, you're, you're gonna lose. I don't want to waste my time. And search for more than I care for. Yet no one delivers. I mean, listen, I, I can't... Like, if you're talking to me to, like, make me want to, like, deliver... No one is listening. I, I'm listening to you, man. I'm, I'm really listening. And so I weep invisible tears. Hey, man, if you got no eyes, then I don't see how this is functional. Like, how this is going down. I don't understand your biology. But, listen, we, they're, they're doctors. Until I can feel the sorrow no more. Hey, listen, depression is just... Depression is no joke. Just go to a therapy session. You know, talk your problems out. Hey. Yeah? Have you ever strained yourself so hard to see what you want to see? Not really, no. Um, no. See, when I do that, I, have, I, I needed glasses. And now I got laser eye surgery. So, I'm good. That you end up blinding yourself to all. Oh, yeah, I was almost legally blind. I wouldn't say that much. Yeah. Have you? eyes are these my eyes no is that so then how do you think my eyes look when our cases finally meet what will you find me. Didn't we just have to answer this question? Look lost. Hey, look. Lost. That may be so. I am never sure of where I am. My days consist of wandering about aimlessly, searching for something. What's that I worry that if I'm not paying attention, what I'm searching for will slip away. I mean, again, you're not answering my question. What is that something? The thought terrifies me. Listen, I'm trying to help you, buddy. It terrifies me so much. It's... Uh... So I always keep my eyes peeled. Looks like you're half asleep. Even if there's nothing to see. That way, nothing will slip away. I mean, I'm trying to sleep or slip away into my dreams, but you're not letting me. No matter where it goes, and no matter where it hides, no matter how terrifying the world might be, no matter the countless terrible things I witnessed by mistake in the process, no matter what, I will never blink. I haven't blinked yet. I will forever be confused by the worlds around me. Forever be lost. But what is that something that I'm searching for? Thank you. It's been so long since my wandering began. I can no longer recall the feelings that drove me to it. What is it? Is it something I can hold? Um, I is it a being of flesh and bones? Okay, see now this just turns south. Um, is it nearby? No, it's not. I think it's down the street. Is it? Hey, have you ever looked so fervently for something that you end up losing yourself in the process? Have you? These eyes? Are these my eyes? Uh, nah, they're not. Is that so? How do you think my eyes, in our case, is it's, they look empty? Yeah. Oh, that is the worst one. Well, it's been worse. That may be so. The eyes are the window to the soul. 
judge you and try to read your soul and stuff like that. Like, I don't believe in it, but like, it's just a thing that they say, so. They said that the soul was holy, bright, beautiful. Every person has one, both the good and the evil. You're not wrong. But that person said I was the exception, that something like me couldn't possibly own something so holy. I mean, if you go out to random people's houses and you start whispering in their ear, I would kind of believe that. So bright, so beautiful, they looked inside of me took a deep breath and announced their conclusion with great fatigue. Their eyes, eyes that could see it all, couldn't find anything in there. I'm sure that if you were to cut me apart, not even blood would flow out. Um. Even if I felt it sometimes crawling through my veins, maybe that's why I've never seen myself before. Because I'm empty. But isn't that something to be grateful for? Um, I don't Because know. if I were to look and find nothing there, then surely I would feel disappointed. By not looking, I can ease myself of that pain. So maybe this is for the best. Yeah, man, I mean, some people have their way of coping, you know? I can't remember who was the first to recite these words to me. Nor the second, nor the third. Chuck Norris? Nor the several others who came after. The only thing I remember is that they looked as empty as I did to them. Hey, have you ever felt so empty? So devoid of what makes everyone special? No. That you've embraced the void as your own? No. Have you? No. These eyes, are these my eyes? Okay, so now we're gonna go with yes, cause why not? A good answer. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. You're not gonna yank out my eye, right? Open your eyes. No, so you good. won't look at me? Nah. Even though your eyes are so pretty. My eyes are closed. I don't know how you can see me. You don't see through my eyes. I can't see them, but I can imagine them. Behind their veil of flesh, round like pearls. I mean, I, I, I think I got a good pair of eyes. And shiny like jewels. I wouldn't know about all of that, but I appreciate the So, company. so pretty. Thank you. <sighs> Alright. It's fine. We still have time. Time for what? The night is still. And silent. Well, I mean, technically you're speaking, so... People are good at closing their doors. Clearly I'm not. Do you know what a door is? Uh, something you should walk out of right now in my house? Of course you know. You have one. Right there. At the verge of your little world. Yup. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. The bad can be anything. A bad person. A bad smell. Uh, like you, a bad person. Am I right or am I wrong? And sometimes, me. I can't open doors. So you're telling me I could have avoided all this by closing the damn door? I find them. Sad. You turn the knob. Should I push or pull? Isn't it based on like right or left? I have no idea. Uh, I'm not gonna get into the mechanics doors. I feel like this is too strenuous. Should I turn the knob left or right? Does it really matter on some doors? Like, it got me really thinking now. Like, does it really matter on some doors? Should I try to take it off its hinges? Um, okay, that's something I know for a fact you don't do. Should I chip away at it, hoping it will fall apart? Uh, no, you're not a dog. And what happens when it opens? You walk inside, but I'll prefer if you stay out. Do I close it behind me? Uh, how about you 
how about you don't open it, you close it, you leave it closed, and you leave. Do I keep it open? Uh, no. But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. Exactly. But then, how do I get out? The same way you got in. And what happens? And it closes! So many options. What? So many things that could go wrong. I mean, it's not, if it's natural occurrences, I, it doesn't, it, it's not really a wrong thing. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. Okay, you have your own problems. You need a doctor. I don't understand. I stare at it for a long time. Don't stare at my doors. And think of my excuses. What? Because that's all they are. What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist. Alright. To keep me out. I mean, if you're if you're gonna go into people's house and you're gonna whisper in their ear to have this full blown conversation, then you know, I, I would wanna keep you out. It fills me with the need to go in. No, they're closed for a reason. So I search for a crevice or a window. That's even worse. No, stay your ass outside. Anything that might be open. No. Anything that might let me in. No. I'm not good with doors. And I would get a house full of doors, no windows. But as long as there's a place where I can fit, then I can't go in anywhere. Every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. I'm careful, so as to not be caught by the light. In my internal search, I pick a place where to rest. I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable, without alerting anyone. Usually it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. Do you at least clean it? I feel at home there. All right, well, I, I cleaned the side of my bed and you're on it, so... But sometimes, just sometimes, an urge swells inside of me. The urge to be seen. Okay, well, listen. So I search hard for a door that's open. I get it. For an entryway covered in darkness. Okay, yeah. For someone to be at the other end, awake, as if... You had your door open for visitors. That, okay, this is completely different, sir. Listen, I have my door open because if I gotta wake up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom, I don't wanna be half eyes closed and. Oh, just hit my head against the door. Why is that? Are you afraid? Yeah, maybe. Do I scare you? Yes. No. That can't be it. That is it. We have been chatting for so long. I mean, I'm kind of used to you by now. You haven't chased me out. I mean, I haven't really responded either, but... That means you'll welcome me. I, I don't think so. So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand... No. You would reciprocate and grasp it. I'm sure your hands are warm. So very warm, because people are always warm. Hey, how do my hands look when my warmth finally meets yours? How will it feel? Answer me. Uh, alright, I'm not gonna go through all these. Uh, they look deceitful. They look I wanna go through these two. Well, I'm mad. I'm super skeptical. They look deceitful. Yeah, you look like very foolish. Oh. That may be so. These hands of mine tend to squirm into places I could never imagine. Be it tiny holes in the walls, housing arachnids of all sizes, or the pockets of midnight walkers stroll in the parks that sometimes serve me as home. These fingers squirm in and drag out what they find. So now I carry all sorts of trinkets with me. Keys, peeping cat.
hatchets, notes with love poems in them, the corpse of one or two insects, eventually hidden away by those who come take their place. I keep everything with me, regardless of their use. But sometimes, I feel bad, because maybe it was something important. Yeah, you just can't be taking people's shit like that. The person I took them from could be distraught. Yeah, like me. Their happiness shattered. Like me. Their lives ended. Not like me, you know, I... I I'm good with this so I consider and consider maybe dropping them somewhere in the park. But what if I need them? What if I need them? What if the keys can one day open the door I want? Okay, you got a good point there, but how about we leave the keys to me? How about we, yo, we could go house searching. I know a perfect real estate agent. You know, we could look for a house. Uh, we could find something. No, no open door policy. You know, we could just rip it off the hinges. What if the poems help me befriend a new partner? Uh, this isn't working out. It's not. What if the arachnids serve me as unlikely sustenance? Hey, man, I can't blame you if you want to eat that. I mean, people don't want to eat anything, so. There are too many ifs. Also too afraid to find out the truth. So I let them stay with me. Alright, I mean you could be a hoarder. Slowly becoming a part of me. Helping me grow. I mean, we all need a new dream. I've grown so much. I had to lower my head when entering your room. My door is pretty tall. How tall are you? These fingers won't stop. I see tentacles. Squirming and coiling around everything they feel. And I can only hope they merely take what they need. I would be saddened if my body grew too much. I mean, I hope you got a, a, a limit. Because I wouldn't get to enter rooms like yours anymore. I mean, I didn't want you in my room. Hey, have you ever attempted to help yourself grow? By mercilessly taking away from someone else. Have you? These hands. Are these? My hands. Yeah, they're good you. answer. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. How's that? Open your eyes. No, I'm good. So you won't look at me. Nope. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. I see tentacles, yo. I got my eyes closed. I'm imagining you right now. You have some deep, empty eyes right now, and you have some deceitful hands, which turned into me tentacles. So you know what? We are good. I don't want to. I kind of don't. I kind of want to be done with this conversation. Think about it. Maybe you and I are similar. We talk. We speak the same language. No, I know we are. Uh, your neck looks discombobulated, your shoulders are a bit weird. I can feel it in my skin. If you have some. Oh. Can you hear it? That's mine, right? My skin is pulsating. No, your heart is beating. It has been long since this happened. Are you catching feelings for me? It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. I wander the world, wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look, but it's not like anyone will do. So why me? If it did, then it would be oh so easy, since I could show myself to everyone at once. Every living person in this land and ask them all the same question. Someone will answer. There's no doubt about it. But it might not be the answer I wish for since I don't want to be judged. So why are you telling me to look at you? I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. But you're asking me all these questions about. Listen, man, get your. It scares me. I don't care if it scares you. That is why. When someone is on the verge of looking at me, right. I shy away. 
Don't shy away. I hide, fading into the dark. How are you asking people to look at you and then you shy away? Don't shy away. But you might be different. No. If it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. You should go the hell away. That way you can help me, and we can both be fulfilled. <sighs> Just thinking about it, it makes me feel... Feel... Something. I cannot describe it. I am not good. With words. Well, listen, I got a dictionary. There's a dictionary, like, downstairs in the library. Go over there till the morning where light is in the room. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. And what, you want me to teach you something? What? They were not good at it either. Well, it happens to this. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. English is pretty hard. To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. Yet, they did. Congrats, Simply though. because they could. Word, that's good. It is weird to remember. Uh, I guess. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. Why do you want to be seen? And I am not. Sure. Well, then don't ask for me. I don't care much for my appearance. So why do you want to I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. So go. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? Go to a psychologist. This is not my profession. Maybe it's only because I can. Maybe. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. Okay. But I will. Soon. Once you open your eyes. I don't want to open my eyes. Based on the way how you're speaking, I would say you're a cheerful, a cheerful smile. smile. Yeah, I figured it would be something like that. That may be so. It would only make sense for the end of this journey to bring me joy. It has been so, so long. I can no longer remember where it all began. But who's to say it had a beginning? Maybe the starting point is that faint memory, the earliest one I can recall. I was walking, and for some reason, it was daytime. So daytime doesn't kill you. Alright, good to know. I gotta write that down. I rarely travel during the daytime. Only when the fear of being seen isn't there. So I must have believed that was the case. But it's strange. Since the place I was walking through was a city, one full of people, I couldn't see them. But I knew they were there, hiding in the shadows, with their backs against the dirt, completely motionless, completely silent, sure they weren't dead? living in wait of their deaths. Oh. And what's more, none dared to look at me. Cause I, no one wants to look at you. Did they even know I was there? Uh, no, probably not. Maybe. They did not care. Uh, well, I care a lot. All I remember is feeling a certain kinship towards the hidden inhabitants of that settlement. Why? They were like me. 
I don't think anyone's like you with your tentacles on. Living in fear of what others might think. I mean, it is. Okay, I give you a point that is society now. And who's to say I wasn't one of them? Okay. Maybe I spent my days as part of the scenery as well. And one day I decided to go for a walk. A walk that hasn't yet found its end. Is it my house? It's my earliest memory. And my most joyful one. No experience afterwards that made me want to smile more than that. So if you say I am smiling, then surely that's how it must be. But tonight, I'm not joyful. I need to sleep. So if my expression is truly one of cheer, then I must be lying through my smiling teeth. Maybe. Hey, have you ever expressed honest happiness in your face? I have. I would like to say I have. In reality, you're feeling anything but, have you? This expression is this. My expression, yep. I see. Thank you. You have truly helped me tonight. These are my eyes. And the eyes, yeah. These are my hands. The simple hand, yeah. And this is my expression. A cheerful smile. I consider these my most treasured features. That's good. And you have helped me picture them all. I'm glad. No one has done this for me. Alright. I feel a connection with you. I don't want to feel a connection. One born out of honest gratitude. Okay, I mean, if you're... I guess. But there's one step left. What do you want, man? I'm trying to sleep. You need to make sure of the truth. How? Oh. It is the only way. I'm now opening my eyes. So please, I beg of you. Open your eyes. Nope. No. Nope. I, I understand. No. It's fine. You have still helped me by answering my questions. Yeah, it's good. No one has done that for me before, yep. so I have no right to ask for anything else. Yep. I'm glad you understand no means no. No. That is a lie. What? Ever since I stepped into this room, you have refused to engage with me. I mean, yeah. Not even once. Not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once. Ooh, that's good. That's so good, the chills. Not even once. Did you open your eyes? Not even once. Did you look at my face? You stayed there. Acting as if you were asleep. Cause I am, man. Feigning ignorance and not moving an inch. At times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. It might be, who knows? You haven't opened your mouth. So you have been thinking about it. But you didn't need to. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can. Alright, so if you can read my mind and you know... And I can see further than what others would consider the dark... Empty bottom. That's why I know that I wasn't wrong. You are like me. We are the same. I don't think so. You too. Look for what's not there. Mm. You too. Reach out for what might hurt you. Mm. And you too are a liar. Well, I guess. I don't the know. The type that shows one thing. And feels another. That's dark. But you made a mistake. What? I know you're lying. How? Because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. I am not what you said I am. How would you know? you never seen yourself. These eyes. These hands. This expression. They aren't mine. Okay. Maybe they are yours, but I do not care. Not anymore. All right. Open your eyes. I didn't want to be judged. I'm not ju you. What? 
I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm not. You asked me to. And that's all you did. Cause that's what you asked. So now, you will open your eyes. No. And see me for what I truly am. I'd rather not. You said so. Remember? No, I didn't. That in this room, you know how everything looks. Mm. It was those words that brought me here. So you have to, you have to do right by that which you claimed. It is time. I am a man of my word, but... Open your eyes. You had your chance. It's not up to you anymore. You won't open your eyes. I will. Oof. The pressure around my skull is unbearable. I hear something shatter. as I imagined. Tell me, my new friend, what do you see? I want to answer, but they grabbed onto my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is... Close my eyes. That won't do. Open your eyes. Open them. Open them now. Open, open, open. Open, open, open. Yeah, I'm blind. You can't talk anymore, right? Yup. You can't think anymore, right? I mean, I'm still thinking. Then, this is farewell. Alright. Thank you for trying, friend. I, I, I don't think a friend beats another friend up. Even though you are a liar, I, I leave this piece of myself here with you. I, just take it with you. I must go. Please do. I must look for the right person. Go ahead. Someone who can tell me how I look. Please just leave. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that when they do. All right. There's something in my hand. It's what they left behind. What is it? It feels important. But I can no longer open my eyes. Oh, man. That was actually longer than I expected. I thought this game was going to be short. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to play the game for yourselves, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Uh, overall, I would say the game's pretty good, honestly. I mean, it didn't really have, like, jump, like any good jump scares or anything like that. Or, But, you know, the atmosphere was crazy. Because, like, especially with headphones in, it's... With headphones in, like, you really hear them and stuff, and it's just... It is unsettling, because it works in the, um... What do you call those? In like, 
I know sometimes I listen to music, it's called like AD music or something like that. Like where it just picks up, um, like for example, one ear more than the other, like you can hear them uh, like coming through one side more than the other. Uh, that's how it felt like a bit, like at some parts, which was kind of dope. Uh, but overall, you know, just, I like the game, it was cool. I wonder if there's an actual, like, true ending, though, to it, or if that's what it is, or what happens in your eyes, or really. Uh, maybe I'll find that out on my own free time, I don't know that, though. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.